Write project management tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you about Rike and how you can use it to manage your projects and your tasks. I'm over here on Rike.com and over here, this is how the website looks like, right? So it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. So we're just simply gonna go ahead and jump in and sign up. So the sign up process is very simple. Just enter in your email address over here, just click on get started and then answer a bunch of questions and you are good to go. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and create an account and hopefully I can log in. I think I already have an account. So over here, this is how it looks like, right? Nothing too crazy. So over here are going to be your dashboard right here. This is how it's going to look like. But for you, it's going to be a little bit different if you are using it for the first time because it's going to ask you some questions and then it's going to, you know, give you a default template that you can use. So but if you just simply click on the dashboard icon over here, this is how it's going to look like. So over here, this is your dashboard right here and you have your in progress completed on hold tight. This is going to be your personal dashboard and this is going to be your task dashboard over here. So let's go back to home and let me just show you. So in right, you have spaces, right? So these are some of the spaces that I've created. You can create a space and within that space, you will have folders and within that folders, you're going to have your tasks in the form of boards or different views if you choose so let's go ahead and create a new you know space so to create a new space just simply click on this plus icon over here or click on the big green icon over here at the top either way it's going to give you a bunch of different options so if you click on over here you can go ahead and create different tasks you can create different projects folders spaces requests and all of that so let's go ahead and create a new space right here and now over here this is going to be your you know some templates to choose from so this is going to be your overall view so you have event manager you have kanban you have project with dependencies project with phases daily taskers or stuff like that right and over here on the left side you have your categories such as it marketing agency marketing team operations spacing and consultant pmo and stuff like that so let's go ahead and try to find a template that works best for you so you can create a bank blank template as well right so these are for different companies different you know events different goals and all of that so what we're looking for is all templates and maybe like a project management so over here if i search for project management then i get a bunch of different ones right so let's go ahead and actually create a blank template because that way you can from scratch for on your own right so over here if you click on blank template you just add different members or by their names or by email and over here you enter in your spaces name you add description you make it public or private and you can change the logo of it as well so you know it depends on what type of you know so that it can represent something so like if you click on select other icons you will have a bunch of different other icons so to choose from so over here we're just simply going to go with a different icon you know anything so we'll just go with this one right here this briefcase i'm going to make it private and over here we're going to add the space name and i'm just going to call it test for now or demo but you know it all depends on you what type of uh, name you choose so then just simply click on create and here we go so this is how it's going to look like so you have your view over here you have your different views if you click over here you will have boards tables gantt files and all of that i personally like the board view because it's much much more simpler it's one of the easiest ones out there because you have your new tab over here in progress completed on hold or cancel like nothing too serious about that and then you can add your tasks over here and assign different people to that task right so if i wanted to add a task i'll just simply click over here and i can add like make a video on nfts right something like that boom there we go we have a task there we go so if you click on the task we will get a bunch of different options over here in this pop-up so you can add a signee you can add the description you can add comments you can approvals you can add like timer start you have add subtasks you have attachment file option dependencies share and you can even set a date to when you want this task to be completed right and over here you can add this project or folder to other spaces as well so if you wanted to add this task to other spaces just simply click on different spaces and you are good to go and then you have their priority as well 
but for now we're going to do this and over here you can assign it to different people so let's say this person right here is going to be assigned over here and whenever this person will get the notification that he is assigned to this task right now whenever this person is doing this task all he need to do is move it over here in progress to let the people know that hey is working on this task and then he can you know set a timer for it as well so over here and if you want you can manually set the time as well but for now we're just simply going to click on the timer it's going to be for minutes and hours and once it's done we can move on so right now as you can see the timer is started so we'll just leave it at that so that means that that person is working on that and there we go at the top the timer is working as well you can add different entries as well over here as you can see 15 minutes over here so we click on the timer and now it's going to be started so pretty simple nothing too crazy about that so again simply create different tasks over here create different board spaces get the view and you know you can add different projects you can also use list view if you feel like that makes much more sense like it's going to have list you know tasks in the form of list and if you click on the task you will get a bunch of options over here like pretty simple but i find boards to be much more easier much more simpler you know nothing too crazy and yeah next what you can also do is you can add bookmarks as well but you can change the view as well as i said before and you can also do integrations as well so for example if you click on these three buttons over here you have your timesheet reviews and all of that but where is it one minute you can add like integrations to your workspace as well so simply click on the profile icon and you will have your workspace themes app integrations as well so if you click on apps and integrations you can add different applications within your board or space and you can add integrations as well so over here these are some of the apps over here that we have we have jira we have rike ms we have quickbooks we have rike for gmail g suite asana different applications over here right so for example let's say gmail let's go ahead and connect that it's pretty simple nothing too crazy we'll click on add over here and it's going to add it to our right projects over here there we go we'll just simply click on install and click on continue and then we're going to sign in with our google account we'll allow that wait for it to be loaded and we are good to go and boom here we go you have successfully installed google's workspaces add-on so we'll click on done and we are good to go so if you click over here you know we click on app access we should be over here let me reload it now we are good to go so then what we can do is over here it should be available over here but i think that it's more of for google workspaces right so over here this app works for this app works with gmail and this app works with gmail and we already have right for google so i think mainly we access right from google workspaces as well we don't actually get integrations over here within the application so for project management you will have different accounts over here you know different applications to choose from let's go to my workspace and pretty much that's it guys then as i said before you can also change workspace themes as well so over here this is the classic graphite uh, i would like the midnight black as well i think that looks pretty cool so i close this out and click on save and boom here we go so now all of our themes are different as well so that's it for this video guys that's how you use right and that's how you create different workspaces create different tasks and how you can manage them and also wait let me just show you how you can add different people as well i just remembered um it's pretty simple nothing too crazy you just simply click over here on add and you can just simply click on the invite button over here and then you can add different emails over here and then invite those users within your workspace as well so pretty much that's it that is all the things that you needed to know about Rike, how you can create different projects, how you can create different spaces, create different tasks, add integrations, add apps, and how you can add different people within your project as well. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.